So let's do question number 3b together now. Question 3b. Working note number 1. Basic data. So they have given the date of investment, amount is given, NAV is given, dividend is given and last NAV has been given. From this they want you to find out the yield per annum of the three schemes after considering that taking the year as 365 days and please comment on the course of action he should take for a future period. So basically in future what should he do? He should take the scheme that is giving him a better profit. Am I right? So what I'll do is I think we don't need a basic data here. I'll draw a table like this particulars computation and the last column will be result. All right. So I'll start with scheme number A. So scheme number A, you have 5 lakh invested. NAV on the entry date is 10.5. Oh, so we need to find out the number of units. Am I right? Or is that required? Is there any changes happening in the units? No, but we need to find out the dividend per unit. Okay, friends. We'll do it in a different manner. I'll take a fresh page. Particulars. Scheme A. Scheme B. And Scheme C. All right. So I'll write point number A, date of the investment is given. First one is 1, 12, 2018, 1, 1, 2019, 1, 3, 2019. All right. Next, they have told the amount of investment. How much are they investing here? 5 lakhs, 10 lakhs. Last one is 5 lakhs. Am I right? Now, what is the opening NAV they have told? 10.5, 10, and the last one is also 10. Okay. Point number D the number of units 47619.04, 1 lakh units. 50,000 units. Am I right? From this, can I find out the dividend per share? 9,500 divided by, so I'll get the number as 0.1995 as a dividend. I hope I've done it correctly. 5 lakh divided by 10.5 is 47,619. Correct only. Nothing wrong there. Okay. So you get 0.9115. Second one will be 15,000 divided by 1 lakh. Do you get the number as 0.15? And what about the last one? How much is the dividend? 5,000 is the dividend divided by 50,000. We'll get the answer as 0.10 rupees per unit. All right. So once you get the number of units, you get the DPS. NAV 0 is there. We need to take NAV 1 now. How much is going to be NAV 1? 10.4. 10.10. And the last one is 9.8. Now we have to find out the number of days. What is the date on which they are looking at the return? 31 3 2019. So it will be 31 days, December, January, February, March. I will get 121 days. January, February, March. 90 days. Only March. 31 days. Now friends tell me what is the formula for actual return? NAV1 minus NAV0 plus D1 plus CG1 divided by NAV0. So here it will be 10.4 minus 10.5 plus 0.11195 divided by 10.5 in percentage multiplied by 365 divided by 121. I will get the answer as 2.85 percentage. Somebody please confirm that is the same answer. Yes. Same way we have to do the second one also. 10.1 minus 10 plus 0.15 divided by 10.1 into 365 divided by 90. So we'll get 10.038 percentage. Last one. 9.8 minus 10 plus 0.1 divided by 10 in percentage into 
365 divided by 31 minus 11.77 percentage. Can you please read through this now, friends? <coughs> Now tell me friends, what is the plan of action you will do? Will you continue in C, yes or no? Discontinue and put the money in mutual fund B. This also is giving less return. Discontinue this and take the money to B. This is the course of action. Is everybody clear with this part friends? So we are done with this question also.